Dun 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 Welcome, huge movie fanatic Nate, stopping on by to celebrate the release of The Flash original TV series on Blu-ray, which was a really cool thing that I never thought would happen now that it's happening or happened, depending on when this this showcasing of this video was published to celebrate the release of the original series from like the early 90s on Blu-ray. I, I just came across these looking for something else and I'm like, well this, I should say, coming across this looking for something else and uh, I'm like, wow, I can, I can showcase this VHS uh, to celebrate the release of the series on Blu-ray. And what a, what a perfect idea and, and opportunity to do that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm coming your way to showcase the original and pro probably only North American VHS release of the pilot of The Flash television show from the early 90s. As we can see in the back here, package design and summary, copyright 1992, Warner Home Video Incorporated. Taking a closer look at the front cover, kind of funny these days to see a DC comic character called the Ultimate Avenger. I mean, later on in several years, decades would go by and they'd release Captain America, the first Avenger in theaters. So it's really, it's really kind of, I probably haven't seen this cover since, you know, watching, being steeped in all the Marvel movies of the 2000s and 2000 teens and stuff. It's really weird that it's the ultimate Avenger for a DC character, but uh, I digress. So we've got the ultimate Avenger on the top, Flash logo. I mean, I mean, at the time when this was on VHS, I just thought this packaging was so cool, and it still is really cool. I just love the how colorful it is, and you've got the Flash logo there, and you know, with the, 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 the moon or whatever it is, with the, you know, lightning bolt going through it. The flash looks all adventurous. We've got TM for trademark. Towards the bottom here, we can see the villain, the hero, the heroine. And um, these days, it'd be like the villain, the heroine, and her sidekick or something. But this is a good old days of... Uh, the early 90s when things were how they should have been <laughs> how they were meant to be but um yeah on the bottom here we can see the critically acclaimed feature length movie pilot taking a look at the right spine on the top we can see family classic warner brothers logo and early 90s warner home video logo the flash it looks like they omit the little the circular moon thing and just have the lightning bolt and the flash that works too picture of the flash there closed caption logo digitally processed dolby surround stereo catalog number one two one four six color 94 minutes vhs a red vhs and a black rectangle and hi-fi taking a look at the left spine it seems to be identical to the right spine top of this particular vhs looks like this Taking a look at the back on the top on that red band there, which goes all the way around the sides, the back and the other, or the side, the back and the other side, Family Classic can be seen. We've got Tom Shales who says, rates a solid 9.5 on the Zowie Wowie scale. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Slumber Party Massacre and Maui Wowie, but I think that's what it's from, it's from Maui Wowie. There's a lot of quotes here. There's, there's three quotes, and David. Hiltbrand from People says ranks right up there with the film versions of Dick Tracy and Batman. And uh, Daniel Ruth of the Chicago Sun-Times says polished and enjoyable and inviting action adventure. Oh, Tom Shales worked at the Washington Post, by the way. So you've got a really cool shot of the guy in the Flash outfit and a shot of Barry Allen being a nerd and a sh little teeny weeny shot of the end of the movie when the cops are all trying to figure out what to do about the I think the bad I haven't seen this forever the bad guy you know breaking out of being held up in the prison whatever the hell happens at the end that's a shot of it first Superman then Batman now thrill to the flash the swiftest superhero ever to streak across the screen John Wesley Ship plays the title role in this whiz-bang feature-length premiere of the live-action TV series. 
The hyper-fast DC Comics crime fighter battles against a ruthless gang of motorcycle warriors known as the Dark Riders. Abbreviated credits there, Warner Brothers logo, a Time Warner company. Under the red line you can see some all important copyright and warning information and info about the Flash, Superman, Batman, and all related elements of property of DC Comics and blah 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 blah. Yeah, all that stuff, as you can see, being a pilot, television pilot on the bottom corner here, this is not rated. It, it's really weird about the not rated. Like, that can mean, like, in this case, a made for television thing, or in some cases, unrated stuff's not rated. It's, it's just. Ugh, not rated. Beware of not rated, because sometimes that means it's unrated, which is worse than R. So if you're a parent, just if you're if you're if if you have any doubts, just don't show them. Digitally processed at the bottom as well, and closed captioned logo. Taking a look at the VHS cassette itself, you know, true to form, what Warner Brothers was doing here in the early '90s, kind of black on top, black on the bottom, and white in the center. There, Warner Brothers, or uh, not the Warner Brothers, Warner Home Video, early '90s logo, the Flash, TM. Info here, VHS Hi-Fi, Dolby Surround Stereo, Digitally Processed, Not Rated, Closed Caption Logo, all this other stuff we've seen in very scary, dark, white on dark print. We've got your all-important warning, copyright, FBI information. Ooh, I'm scared. Taking a look at the spine, nothing, um, no sticker on here, but we can see printed on the plastic itself, Flash the Premiere, which is interesting. Flash the Premiere, WHV, I don't know what that means. Probably means Warner Home Video, numbers there and numbers there and more numbers, and then you've got a letter and more numbers. Very excited, like I'm shooting this video in May, so the uh, the Blu-ray hasn't come out yet. I don't even know if I'm going to get it like right when it comes It depends on what it costs for the, the original series on Blu-ray, but I'm a pretty big fan of that, so... I might have to just, you know, bite the bullet and pay whatever they want, uh, whatever they're asking and when it comes out, because I'm really interested to see what the, the series is going to look like on um, Blu-ray, because I think there's like the opening title sequence and stuff, it, it looks to me like it was edited on video, so they're either going to have to have some parts of the, the show in like standard definition, either that or try to recreate the intro in, in, in high definition, so I'm, I'm curious about... Because back in the frickin' early 90s, obviously they didn't worry about, like, doing some effects or some editing on video because there was, I mean, even though, the, you know, the people who run the show probably knew that HD was going to be a thing decades down the line, they, they still weren't so worried, worried about it at the time. So um, there might very well be some standard definition inserts in the, in the blue. That, that's going to be my... Um, my prediction that there's going to be some standard, like the opening title sequence is going to be standard definition up converted or something. Either that or they're going to pay a lot of money to have someone recreate the opening credit sequence utilizing the actual film elements and redoing it or whatever. So it's, it's either going to be that or, or that. I, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that it's going to be that versus that, meaning it's going to be just standard definition up conversion for the opening credit sequence and possibly other effects that were done only on video or something. But it's possible that they redo, and it's Warner Brothers after all, so maybe they will redo stuff. Who the hell knows? Time will tell. We shall find out when we find out. At any rate, I think that about does it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you on the next video.